learn to read contracts. Understand what it is you're signing. As creative people, we're not very good at this, and you need to be smart. Learn to read it. Read it and understand what's there. This also applies to things like terms of service on websites. And you should have a lawyer. Not somebody you work with all the time, but somebody that you can send things to, ask questions of. Have them review those big contracts before you sign them. If possible, try to also take ownership of your work. Now, this isn't always going to be an option. It's easier for photographers than video professionals. But make sure if you're giving up your rights, that you do retain moral rights or the ability to show the work in your portfolio. I'll give you an example of those terms of service. I like YouTube. I use YouTube, but you have to be careful. For example, if you look at the YouTube terms of service and you really dig into it, there are a few things that really start to stand out. You'll see words like sub-licensable, which means that they can actually license your work to someone else. Transferable, without limitation. This means you're giving YouTube the rights to put your content in other places and move it around. And even if you take it down, it's possible that other people have made derivative works or reshared it or published it as a new video. This is why you need to read through these and get familiar, as well as consider if other options like Vimeo, where you're paying for a service, make sense.